Yo, what's up guys, it's Beb. We're gonna do a quick tutorial on the Spark AR and Lens Studio templates for your AR hoodie. So how can you use the tracking on top of the hoodie or on the sticker or on an image to make your own custom AR experiences, right? So here I am in Spark AR. I have this default character on because uh, that's just what it comes with. Here are the big differences with Spark AR and Lens Studio. Spark AR, there's not a way for you to test it live. Um, and what I mean by that is you can't put like your phone with a picture on it in front of the camera. It's not gonna track. What you need to do is you need to grab either of these images. So you just click on them and put them in front of the camera to see, right? So you can see now I have this 3D object, this cube that's tracking this image here, right? And the images are already added. So you're not, you're not gonna have to add it. This is how the template looks right out of the box when you download it. All you have to do is create your 3D object, create your 3D experience, and then import it. So to import it for this program here, Spark AR, you just grab your GLB, your GLB or GLTF file, and drop it into this section. And it says I can't import it because it's actually right here. I already did it. And then you grab this and you drop it onto one of the two logo trackers that are already set up. So if I drop it in here, like logo back, you see I have this huge cube pop up. Then we'll just go to the scale and let's make it small. So like 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, whatever. And then place it where you want it to place. So if this logo, imagine this logo in real life, where do you want it? So as far as you put it is where it's gonna show up. The size is gonna be based on the size of the image. So if this image in real life is this size, the cube will be relative to this size, right? So then you just place it however you want to place it and then you can test it by grabbing the image putting it in front of the camera and you'll see how it'll align and the scale and the size right so it's pretty simple the trackers are already set up for you so you just make your 3d object import it into the scene and place it onto one of these two logo trackers and that's how spark ar works if we switch over to lens studio it's actually the exact same thing. Here you can see I have the two logo trackers, two cubes set up, it's the same. Just delete the cubes, import the object you wanna import. For this one, for Lens Studio, I found the best way is you go File, Import, and then from here, you go and you grab the cube. So mine is somewhere over here, uh, cube. And then hit Import, and you're gonna see on this top left, it says GLTF Import. And then you just grab this whole section and you throw this onto either logo front or logo back, right? And then now it's attached. It's the same concept. And then we'll go through scale, be like, yeah, that's way too big. That's kind of way too small. Let's try like a 10. Oh, ooh, oh. 10, 10. And then you can see here I have a, this cube here. And I'll switch it over to this section, this button right here so I can do some dragging real quick. And then you can see there's my cube on another logo. What is nice about Lens Studio is you can do real-time camera tracking. So if I get my phone real quick and I step out of the camera view and I go to my camera, I can put my phone up and look, there's a cube. So it's, what's nice about Lens Studio is you can test that live. So you can see live how it's gonna work but it's the same concept. So now go ahead, make your 3D objects, attach them to the scene, attach them to the logos and publish. And we can all play with and test whatever cool 3D AR creations you guys make. Hope you guys have fun with this guys.